Hello there. G-Cells, could they be the future to the Toho Godzilla Minus One series? Now we know that this could potentially be a movie series coming down the pipeline from Toho Studios with the success of Godzilla Minus One. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of feel like a sequel is inevitable with this movie winning an Oscar and with it just being an unprecedented film in the Godzilla franchise. I think that it's like I said, inevitable that not only is Takashi Yamazaki going to return for a Godzilla Minus One sequel, but that we are going to get an inevitable villain in that sequel and that this is just going to turn into a movie franchise because of the success of Godzilla Minus One. But I think, you know, different than Hollywood, Toho takes very, very good care of Godzilla's character. That's why he's been as successful as he has for so many decades. And they have certain guidelines for these movies. And they're going to make sure that these movies are of a certain quality. Even Shin Godzilla, which came out in the last 10 years, was actually a really good Godzilla movie. But in this video, we are going to talk a little bit about G-Cells and how they factor into Godzilla's character, what they mean for Godzilla Minus One in the potential sequel. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my Godzilla content, consider subscribing and let's get into the video. The Atomic Fail. All right, so G-Cells were first introduced in the Heisei series of the Godzilla movies, and as you can imagine, they are basically Godzilla cells. Now, these cells were used to create both Biollante and Space Godzilla. Now, the origin of Biollante is pretty simple. A doctor's daughter died. He spliced her dead cells into a rose and also spliced the cells of Godzilla into this rose, and it ended up creating Biollante. What the fuck is this piece of shit? It's kind of insane because I don't really know why you would do that in the first place. It's, I think it's a crazy plot. I think if they introduce Biollante in the MonsterVerse, we'll probably have a different origin. When Biollante is killed, his spores basically go into outer space and go into some kind of black hole that end up creating Space Godzilla. Like I said, both of those origins are really crazy, and I think if they end up popping up in the MonsterVerse, we may actually see a different origin for these creatures. I think the origin may very well be different if they pop up in a Godzilla Minus One sequel, but the ending to Godzilla Minus One was a little odd because we were wondering how Noriko seem to survive the atomic blast of Godzilla with almost nothing but a scratch and seemingly like a burn on her. We actually have an answer from Takashi Yamazaki and it seems like the scratch that she has on her actually contain G cells. So this is going to be a really interesting plot point and this could potentially lead to Biollante or Space Godzilla or even Destroya, who even knows at this point what it could lead to because Toho could very well just change up the origin of any of these classic Godzilla villains if they introduce them in Godzilla Minus One. But comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the idea of G-Cells being introduced in a potential Godzilla Minus One sequel. I wonder if there's going to be many people that are infected with G-Cells and that they end up becoming some humanoid form of Godzilla or something similar to what we could have potentially seen in a Shin Godzilla sequel or even some of the Shin Godzilla concept art where we did in fact see humanoid versions of Godzilla. I'm wondering if something like that could happen or maybe many humanoid versions of Godzilla form some classic Toho villain like Biollante or Space Godzilla or maybe even Destroya if they fuse with some sort of crustacean creature. There's so many routes for them to take this sequel but rest assured boys we have confirmation that G-Cells do exist and they weren't introduced for no reason. If they're being introduced in the ending of Godzilla Minus One, it is for a reason. They're setting up a potential sequel, and there's a reason why they showed Godzilla surviving. So comment down below what you guys think about this one. This is an exciting video to make. It's fun to theorize on where Toho is going to take their Godzilla series, because really there's just so many possibilities. Same thing with the MonsterVerse. Toho is already building up the lore for their own Godzilla franchise to kind of rival the American MonsterVerse, and I think it's very, very possible 
that they do what DC wanted to do and introduce a more realistic, grounded movie universe, whereas the MonsterVerse will be the more fantasy Showa era universe, and the Godzilla Minus One franchise will be the more grounded, dark, gritty Godzilla Minus One, you know, Shin Godzilla kind of vibe. All right, boys, I gotta go. I could keep talking about this stuff all day. Comment down below what you guys think, and for this video, that's all I got. So until the next one, be safe and stay well. Bye-bye.